And George Brett can get us going with two outs with the bomb. No doubt about that one. We go ahead and take a 1-0 lead right away here in the top of the first. Great swing right there, turning on that fastball. Let's go, baby. Yo, what's going on, everybody? In today's video, we'll be bringing to you the new 96 overall prime, Fernando Valenzuela. Yes, he is back in the game. He was a nightmare at the beginning of the year last year for a lot of people, and he is back. Let's see if he's as good as last year. Uh, before we look at it, though, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn those notifications on, leave a like on the video, and in the comment section below, let me know if you'll be using this Valen Fernando Valenzuela in your rotation. Lastly, make sure you follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. All three links will be in the description below. So give me a follow through platforms. I would highly appreciate if you did. And also make sure you go check out my short channel on YouTube, pitching underscore rebel shorts. Go check it out. Hit the subscribe button. It is completely free, okay? All right, let's quit talking and let's look at Fernando Valenzuela. So Valenzuela, it's his, uh, a prime card differentiated from last year. Uh, he had a 96. I think it was a 97 or something like that. I can't remember, but it was a no-hitter card. This is just a prime card. Uh, he's going to have 119 stamina, so definitely go the whole game. 102 hit per nine and 108 K per nine. Per nine or the hit per nine is nowhere near as high as that no-hitter card was last year. 72 walks per nine and 87 control with 66 velocity and 99 break. Um, one thing that Valenzuela obviously has that makes him kind of a pain in the ass to hit is that he throws a screwball as his primary pitch. Then he's got a four-seamer at 93, a curveball at 76, and a circle change at 71. That being said, pitch controls at 97 for the screwball, four seams at 86, curveballs at 77, circle change is at 89. And then pitch break, we got 99 on the screwball, 88 on the four-seam, curveballs at 93, and the circle change is at a 97. So everything has great pitch break, especially as screwball has 99 pitch break and good control as well. All right, let's see what he's got. We're going to go ahead and start him and get after it. All right, so our point's gonna be Super Real RRZ. He's got Bobby Miller on the bump for him. Of course, we got our debut man in Valenzuela on the bump for us. Let's get after it. That's gonna be a line out right at the center fielder. Beautiful start to this ball game. Right on the pitch, right down the middle, and we get lined out. Beautiful start, right? I mean, that's exactly how we drew it up. And George Brett can get us going with two outs with the bomb. No doubt about that one. We go ahead and take a 1-0 lead right away here in the top of the first. Great swing right there, turning on that fastball. Let's go, baby. Oh, that's going to squeak on through. That's going to squeak on through for a base hit. Got a little bit on top of it. Got to, can't be missing that. That's sliding right down the middle. Kind of missed it. But base hit up. Base hit through the six hole. That's gonna be a base hit to right field. Are we gonna make it? I'm gonna stay a second. He's got Clemente out there. No reason to go. First and second with two outs. Let's even keep this two out rally cooking. We got Big Trouty coming up. I just swung at ball four. Terrible swing. Gotta be better than that. Or we'll get him chasing. Mike Piazza blocks it up. We'll go one up, one down via the strikeout. Out of boy bounce. Well, you wanna get yourself started. And strike three. Three up, three down. We strike out the side with Valenzuela in his first inning of his debut. Love to see it. Let's go put up some more runs for him. I just missed it. Not a terrible swing. We just got under it, though, enough to where it's an easy fly out. Good timing on it, though. We just did not get our PCI on the baseball. All right, here comes Piazza. Let's do a job. 26-22, no that could get a job done, except... Except when you're facing Bobby Miller. It's tough to see the ball with the pitcher. All right, we go one, two, three. Not a good inning for us hitting wise. And strike three, four up, four down via the strikeout. Let's keep it going, man. Let's go. Okay, no strikeout this time, but an easy pop up for Brett. So we'll have two up, two down, good start to the inning. Oh my goodness, look at Frank Thomas saving it. He's out. Let's go, Frank with the diving play. He saves the inning. Did not extend it. Let's go. We go hit now. No hits, no runs allowed. Didn't dot that one. I think we just missed it, though. Or not. Let's go. The ball carried. I'm surprised I carried. We did not get our PCI on that, but our cap is just different. We'll take a 2 nothing lead. That I just missed, and uh, yeah, that was a good swing though. Good timing on a fastball away. That's a good swing, just unfortunately a little bit underneath it. And George Brett sends one through the six hole. Good swing right there. 
Runner on first for one out. We got Nick Cassianos coming up. Let's see if we can keep it rolling. Come on. That's going to be a double play. It wasn't a terrible swing, just a good pitch. We just got on top of it enough. All right, we get another run via the solo bomb. So 2 nothing lead going into the bottom of the third. Unfortunately, we just got on top of that slider right there. That was down the middle, but we'll take it. Strike three. Good start to the inning. That's 5K so far. And we did, except it's going to be... Oh, we got the call. I thought he was going to give us a check. I thought he was going to give him the check swing. We'll take it. And strike three, we get him looking another. We strike out the side again. I believe that's seven Ks now for Valenzuela through three innings of play, man. He's doing really well. Let's keep it rolling, though. All right, we got Big Baby brings in Alvarado. Ah, good pitch. Got to take those. It's a ball. Good pitch. He's out. Bad swing. Underneath the zone, we cannot be swinging at that. All right, not a good inning. One, two, three. Gotta be better at the plate. We've swung in a couple pitches outside the strike zone. And we got him chasing, love to see it. All right, one up, one down, let's go. And strike three, another K. Nine Ks through four innings for Mr. Valenzuela. Good debut so far, let's keep it going. Why I keep missing those curveballs, I have no idea. That's such an easy pitch to hit and I keep missing it. Another, I mean, that wasn't a bad swing, but damn, he's just throwing dots with that curveball. It doesn't make any sense. Let's see if we get him on a change up here. Not good release. And we got him on the change up. Good pitch right there. Let's go. 10th K for Mr. Valenswell. Love to see it. And strike three. We get him looking. Let's go. Another two Ks in the inning. We're up to 11, I believe. Let's hit the baseball. Another ball right at him. I mean, I know. I'm early, but I'm a little bit on top. My goodness. Oh my God, I cannot believe I keep missing these pitches to hit. Make a play, there we go. Oh boy. All right, one up, one down right away. One pitch, one out actually. Love to see it. Good pitch, let's go, we blow it by him. All right, we get the K. Another three up, three down inning, four balance. Well, we got five, six, seven coming up. He's gonna bring in Lefty Grove to face Babe Ruth. Let's do a job, man. We gotta start hitting at some point. We're literally just missing everything. That's gonna be a line. No, it dropped. Let's go. Let's go. It dropped. Atta baby. Atta boy, Babe. Way to get us started. Come on. Let's keep it going. We got Big Trout coming up versus the Lefty. Let's go. Good pitch. I don't know why I swung at that. Oh my God, my placement is so bad right now. Holy shit. That's gonna be a base hit, but again, missed my PCI placement on it. Yeah, good pitch. All right, that's tough. I wanted to pinch hit there, but obviously can't do it because it's the debut, man. Not that we can't, it's just, it would be unethical. All right, one up, one down. Love to see it. Let's go. Maybe not the strikeout, but we'll get the easy fly out to the left. Another one, two, three inning for Valenzuela. Two, three, four. No, we got top of the order coming up. One, two, three coming up for us. Let's get it going, man. We just got to score a few runs. I just want a few runs. I know this field's a little bit tougher to score at, not high elevation, but we got to hit better. We have not been hitting the baseball good. There we go. Split a gap one time out of baby cat. Let's go. Come on, let's get it going, man. Oh, we're going to go three on that. I don't know what he was doing, but we're taking three. We got to get it. We'll take the leadoff triple right there. Here comes Franklin Thomas. Let's see if we keep it going. What is happening? What is happening? And he's out of here. I don't know if he closed that or lost internet connection, but he's on out of there. So we end up getting the W. He closed app after the leadoff triple in the top of the eighth inning. Maybe we could have broken open that inning. I was hoping we did. Uh, with that being said, though, Fernando goes seven strong innings, no hits, no runs, no walks, 13 Ks. He was in route to a perfect game. Can you call it a perfect game? I don't know. I'm going to let you decide that. Let me know in the comment section. But obviously, he threw seven innings. We played more than enough innings to call it a ball game. Obviously, five innings in real life would be a ball game. He didn't go the nine innings because, you know, our opponent didn't let us. He closed that, but he got seven innings, like I said, 13 Ks, and was perfect in those seven innings. So you let me know in the comment section if it was a perfect game. 
That being said, um, I don't know if Valus is gonna make my rotation due to the fact that his per nines are kind of low with the hit per nine. A lot of people have good right-handed hitters in the lineup because of Randy Johnson. Uh, that being said though, um, we're probably just gonna sell him back, let him come down a little bit more that he's gonna come down to. And, uh, but if you can hit that screwball, there's nothing else that's gonna be able to, he doesn't have an overpowering fastball. Uh, the, I just got lucky that my opponent could not hit the screwball, could not figure it out. The screwball also played at a stadium that was not a good stadium to play at for hitting, does not have good elevation, you know, tougher dimensions as well. So again, for what it's worth, right now, I just don't see Valenzuela cracking my starting rotation. He may, I don't know, but I, like I said, I wanna sell him back to get the stubs back and then buy him when he's cheaper. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn those notifications on. Leave a like on the video and in the comment section below. Let me know if you're gonna be using Fernando Valenzuela or not, okay? Lastly, make sure you follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. All three links will be in the description below. So give me a follow through platforms. I would highly appreciate if you did. And also make sure you go check out my shorts channel on YouTube, pitching underscore rebel shorts. Go check it out. Hit the subscribe button. It is completely free, okay? Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Love y'all. Peace.